Hello. Hi. How you doing? It's Jim. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to part two of 2112. Eee! This fabulous album. Um, well, I say fabulous. I'm not entirely sure I know anything on side two in any with any clarity. I have I vaguely remember hearing a passage to Bangkok, not Zangkok. Zangkok is somewhere very, very different. Um, but no, um, I don't recognise the names. The Twilight Zone is a, a, a TV series and was a, um, a song by Iron Maiden. <laughs> the only reason I know that. Um, but it's not the same song, I'm fairly certain. Uh, Lessons, Tears or Tears, we'll find out when we get there. And Something for Nothing. Uh, so, following on from the grandeur and the rock majesty and uh, flawlessness, I would add, to side one. I'm hoping that side two carries on in a similar fashion. I don't know that it does, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> uh, right, a little sip of coffee. And we shall begin. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do recognise that actually. <laughs> You'd know in an instant. And it couldn't be anybody other than Rush, could it? It's so easily identifiable. That's a unique sound. That's a great little tune. I did recognise it, actually. I have, must have heard that somewhere before. Um, but that hey, man. Up to reach you. No, it 
don't know this. Twilight Zone. different here. Um, what is next? What is next? That is a question. Lesson. Lessons. Amazing that he's singing this while playing such an involved bass part. I know also in the recording it's not, but live would be. Nice. 
Nice. Lifeson. I think all three of them are such good musicians, aren't they? It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> That's a very slow fade. So next up we have Tears or Tears. Until I hear it, I don't know which it is. I'm going to imagine it's Tears. Right. Is it tears or tears? We'll find out. else that's been on this record.
beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. What a little, beautiful little golden nugget of loveliness that was. All right. I can't read that. Something for nothing. Not money for nothing. That's something very different. Tom's in uh, Neil's drum kit. Wow. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. Right. That's it. That's the end of side two. Well, I was of the um, thought... I was of the opinion that uh, I was going to say this is all about side one completely, but then side two is bookended by those two really, really sort of not high energy, but sort of far more driven pieces of music than the the middle three. So uh, a passage to Bangkok and then something for nothing. Both wicked. I mean, very short little songs, but um, showing some of the. Experience experimental, I don't know if that's quite the right word, but some of the more um, interesting things that Rush do, uh, which was demonstrably uh, shown on side one in all of uh, 2112. Um, but then you had the, the middle middle three, which took the energy down, sort of brought it back down again. 
and it worked really, really quite well. I think you had to have them like that with the uh, the two uh, bigger, faster pieces on each end. But I wonder if the album would have worked even better had they put side two as side one and had all of side two as twenty one twelve, because people. I don't know whether, just from a sort of a getting to know the music sort of point of view, because you listen to side one, you just, oh, I've just got to listen to that again and again and again and again. You never get around to listening to side two because side one is just so good. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just so good to hear uh, them, maybe not quite in their prime yet, but certainly hungry and absolutely ambitious as hell uh giving two fingers to the record label and saying sod you guys we're going to do what we want to do uh and we believe in it and as it turns out rush was right everybody who um listened to this at the time well not everybody but it did very very well and it and it saved them and it kind of, I guess, became a blueprint then for what they would become. So leaning really heavily into their sort of the progressive side and coming up with these big epics and it's just far more interesting, exciting, experimental, proggy pieces that uh, that we we all know about. But then saying that, there are sort of some of their more um, famous pieces from later on Tom Sawyer for example or uh, Spirit of Radio Spirit of Radio's actually got, got quite a lot of changes and uh, and ch uh, change of directions in it as well but they are much shorter pieces and uh, XYZ XYZ depending on where you come from XYZ YYZ YYZ There is so much to look forward to to discover with this band because there are records and records and records and records. We've got, I don't know what comes to know, is it Hemispheres or Farewell to Kings? Um, and we've got Moving Pictures coming up. We've got Power Windows. We've got Signals. Uh, echoes? Is it called Echoes or is it something Echoes? I can't remember. Anyway, I've got, I've got quite a few of them. They're all lined up, ready to go. Uh, I know moving pictures fairly well. Um, exciting times. Yeah, I do. I do like Rush. I do. There's no denying it. There's no denying it. I hope you do too, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will see you all on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim. Over and out. Oh, 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 oh,